Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Utwani once again from learnhyperdimension.com. Today in this video, we'll talk about how to perform keyboard actions in Playwright. So the moment you start working with a web application, there will be many scenarios where you have to perform certain keyboard actions. For example, I want to press enter, tab, command, control A, control V, control C, any keyboard activities that you have to perform. Playwright provides a direct way to perform keyboard actions using page.keyboard. So you can do page level keyboard activities. You can do element level activity, which I will show you in this video. Very small, very crisp video, but very interesting because there will be many scenarios where you need keyboard activities. So let me show you first of all the official documentation. If you come to this keyboard uh, Playwright Java, I will share this link in the description. You just need to use keyboard and then you can type, you can press any key. For example, I want to press arrow left, arrow right. We can also do up down. For example, I have to press shift. So I use down, then do my task and sh up. So down, up, just like we do manually. We can do the same thing in Playwright as well. I will show you all this. So if you have to perform multiple keys, for example, control A, control V, control C, uh, control C actually, shift A, shift C, it's totally up to you. You can do multiple keyboard activities in short. Only one thing that you have to remember that if you're working with Windows, you will be using control key, but I'm using Mac uh, during recording. So I will be using Meta key, but Windows and Linux supports control keys. But for Mac OS, please remember use Meta. Rest everything, moreover, it will remain same. You can use all the function keys, you can use the standard keys, you can use numpad keys, and you can do with a combination as well. We also have one sample application. This is actually toptal.com, very small application. If I press A from the keyboard, it says you have pressed A. Okay, and it also gives me ASCII character. For example, I will give B, C. So it's giving ASCII values too. For example, if I press 2, so it says I have printed, uh, I clicked actually 2 from here. So again, this is just to check that uh, what key you're performing. But let's say I want to do some activity on this application. The first scenario is, for example, if I uh, enter username and if I don't press anything, if I don't type anything, if I press enter, for example, like this. So it submits the page and says password is required. For example, if I don't fill anything and if I say hit enter, it says email and password required. But if I type something, hit enter, it says email is required. Uh, that is only one key, but let's say if I want to type something, then I want to say control A, control C, tab, control V, and then hit enter, it is giving me tooltip. So I will show you the scenario, how you can do this. Uh, so I already have one sample program ready. If you are going through the previous videos, then you must be familiar. We are starting a Chrome browser. We are opening this application. Now in order to work with keyboard activities, what I will do first of all, I will inspect this element. So you can see we have a name as attribute, type as attributes, placeholder and ID. Let me take ID first. So I will say page dot locator. Since I'm using ID, so I will use hash email one now let me fill some values so let me fill admin at the red email.com now i want to press enter so that i should get some error messages so what i will do i will say page dot keyboard so this will return me keyboard reference so i can directly say press now you can see it says give me any key that you want to use i will go with enter so i uh, sorry e capital now i don't want to close this page as of now i want to show you so if i say page dot keyword dot press it will press enter and you will see one error message if i quickly run as the application okay notice it typed then it hand uh, then performed enter operation and we got this field called password is required so you can use any key, you can use shift, control, tab, enter, whatever key you want to perform. And the, all the keys that you need, I already showed you the documentation. You can just get the reference which key you want to perform and you continue. Now what about how to perform multiple keys, control A, control V, control C, where you need to press two keys. In that case, I, as I showed you, we can go with plus command. When I say plus you can tell control A, control V, control C. 
I want to show you the different variation as well. First, understand how up and down works because eventually whatever operation we want to perform, we can do with the help of uh, up and down as well. Once you're comfortable, then I will show you this approach as well. So in this case, uh, let's say the moment I entered something, now I want to use control A. So the moment I say control A, I need to press control A, then control C, control V, right? So this key I'm pressing, so down, then I will release. So first down, then press any key, then up. So I will say page dot keyboard dot down. Now which key? Since I'm using Mac, I'm using Meta, you can use control. So let me type Meta. And the scenario is, I will be typing here first. What I'm trying to do is control C. Okay. So this is how it should highlight. So first down Meta, then page dot keyboard dot press, which key I need to select. So I will say A. Then I need to release, right? So I will say up this time. So this will actually highlight. Control A will highlight the complete text. Now I want to copy, right? So again, I will use Control C, which is for copy. So in this case, it will just first come uh, Control A, then Control C. Now I need to press tab so that it should come to the next password field. So page dot keyboard dot press which key tab. And once I'm here, I will do control V so that it should paste. So again, I will use this. And this time I will say V. So basically it should perform all the operations. Let me quickly ex execute this so that you can see the operation. Run as the application. And notice it will be do, it will bring very fast. Control A, Control C, Tab and Control V. So actually we ha also have enter somewhere in the between. So let me remove this. So this is part one. Then this is part two. Once we copy, then we are going to press tab. And after tab, we are performing paste. Execute run as your application. Control A, Control C, tab and Control V. That's all. Yeah. So this is how you can do with the help of down, up and pressing the key. But again, since you have um, uh, to do this multiple times, we can do this in single line as well. That is what I will show you. For this, close this. Now I'm going to remove everything. Again, I will use page dot keyboard dot press. Now I can say meta plus control A. Control A basically meta A here in Mac. Then copy so C then page dot keyboard uh, press tab and after that finally do the control V it should be control V you can use small a or, or capital A doesn't matter again run as your application And yeah, same thing that we have performed. So yeah, that's all about this video. I hope you got some idea. So please give it a try. Let me know if you face any issue. And if you are looking for more videos on a specific topic, let me know in the comment section. And make sure you subscribe this channel if you are new to this channel. And share this video with your friends and colleagues, those who are learning Playwright with Java. So thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.